Hi Leo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is general so it's not going to be for everybody's situation but of course you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading. Also the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. Alright, let's see what's going on with Leo... What is the overall energy for the second half of August? All right, and we have healing. All right. So this could be you, this could be your person, this could be for the both of you, for the connection. We will see, but there is a lot of healing that is happening for you in one way or another for the second half of August. So let's see, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. All right, and we're going to be looking at your energy first, then your person's energy, and, and then the message for you. So we have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Cups for you. Okay, so it feels like you are... Oh, I feel like you've gone through something that was... Um, dragging out possibly and it was weighing heavy on you because there was such a dragging out of this situation and I feel like you are finally at this place where you can actually um, enjoy yourself enjoy your life um, having a kind of being able to just enjoy things and find pleasure maybe you're socializing maybe you are spending time with family for some of you maybe you are even um, dating new people and I feel like this overall is just making you feel like you are um, <clears throat> you're feeling more fulfilled than you were feel feeling before however I'm getting the feeling that there is still somebody here that for you would be your your wish fulfillment and I feel like it is somebody specific um, but I feel like you're you know whatever it was that was difficult with that situation it's something that you are now releasing so even if you haven't released the connection it's like you're releasing an aspect of it or of the way that you were holding on to it or holding a specific perspective that is making you feel a little bit more lighthearted. let's see for them we have the knight of swords the page of swords and the eight of cups Okay, so interesting things happening here for this person. Um, I feel like this person is a little bit restless at the moment. I feel like there is something that they are... Um, it almost feels like, you know, they're, they're kind of like, I don't know what it is that I want to do, but I want to do something and I want to take action. I feel like this person is really trying to keep an eye on you and really interested in what it is that is going on and, and really trying to figure out what it is that is going on, especially when it comes to moving away from a situation, um, emotionally detaching. So it could be that this person, for some of you, um, is keeping their distance from you at the moment. However, they are still interested in what is going on with you. And I feel like the fact that you are in this higher vibe at the moment, and this is because you've done so much healing and you are healing, it's kind of making them feel a little restless and giving them this drive, possibly to even want to communicate with you if they, if they have not, if you are not in communication. They want to communicate with you and to express something that they that is a truth for them. At the same time though, I feel like they're kind of either keeping their distance at the moment or walking away from a situation. So let's see the message here. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so there is... I feel like there is a potential here. There is a path that is opening up gradually, but it's but it's opening up for you in some way. I feel like you're not, it might be like you're not really trusting it or there's just something that you're not sure. Um, because if this person has been a little bit elusive, I feel like you know, you're just gonna have a hard time trusting that 
that potential or that pathway. And so I kind of feel like you, you're, you're kind of blocking it out in a way. But I feel like the guidance for you here is to, you know, no matter what it is that happens, because I do see this person eventually coming in and offering some kind of a new start here. Um, the guidance for you is to really hold your ground, you know, like um, if there was something here that bothered you about this person, you know, you want to make sure that you're standing firm in what it is that you believe in. So let's actually clarify. All right, so let's see the three of cups. All right, so we have the page of cups, the seven of cups and the eight of cups. All right. It definitely feels like, you know, you're just open. That's how I'm seeing this. You're open. I feel like you are either having some options or you are just, you know, really entertaining yourself with a variety of things. And this is because it, you are emotionally detaching from this person. It could be that this is also in your effort to move away from this person. But I'm getting that because we have the healing card. I feel like you really have healed whatever it is that was holding you back. You have healed that. And you are just opening up your heart. You're opening up your emotions. Um, and also just your own self. To whatever it is that can bring you pleasure. Let's see the Ten of Wands. Alright, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so this is definitely something that has dragged on where you felt, you either felt alone in this connection or you felt like um, a sense of rejection or a sense of abandonment possibly or just maybe that this person could not fully commit to you. And like I said, I feel like that kind of dragged on for a long time and it's just now at this point where you're like, you know what? you're in this you're starting fresh with your own self you have a new perspective on this you have a new way of being when it comes to to whatever this connection was or is let's see the nine of cups oh we have the lovers the three of swords and temperance. Yeah, so this is definitely, you know, there's <laughs> there's still a part of you that feels this connection with this person and deep down you still feel like, you know what, that would be my wish fulfillment. Um, but you have been so hurt by this. And I feel like, you know, you've, you've healed those wounds. That's a thing, all right? You've healed that pain. But it's almost like, you know, you still you still believe in this person or you still feel like, you know, this is a connection that is never going to be broken. You've healed a part of yourself in, um, in the sense of, you know what, you can move away from this because you have healed this. And this is why you're able to enjoy your life. Um, let's see for them, let's see that Knight of Swords, because I don't see them being in a similar energy here. I feel like there's something else going on with this person. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, the Tower, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Swords. I'm telling you, there's... There's, there's something that is happening for this person that is really creating um, chaos right now in their lives. Um, it almost feels like, you know, it's a disaster. This has to do with something that possibly that they were contemplating on, something that they've been holding back from or stalling. I feel like there was some kind of a, a delay, just something that they were thinking, thinking, thinking. And 
when it came to taking some kind of an action here or possibly even just communicating this person is really going through a dark night of the soul here all right we also have the five of swords um it could be that you know they're also dealing at the moment with other people who are against them with other people who are deceiving them in some way or possibly being a little bit manipulative and i feel like whatever whatever is going on this is like coming crashing down this person is now beginning to feel very restless possibly even at the um thought of of losing you but whatever the situation is for them it's creating a lot of chaos And I feel like this is something that they now need to actually take some action on. All right. And that's why they're feeling this restlessness. So let's see that page of swords. The nine of cups, the five of cups and the hermit. Yeah. So this person, you know, regardless of whether they are talking to you or not, um, whether you're in contact or not, they're watching you, they're observing you because they feel like, you know, this is, this connection with you is what would um, fulfill them as well. This is what they would want to have. Um, there's a lot of regret here possibly for having been so quiet for so long, if they have been quiet. Um, otherwise, it's just regret for whatever it is that has happened that has led up to this, to whatever pain it is that they have, that they have caused you here. All right, they're feeling a lot of grief. Like I said, they're going through a very dark period right now, something that is very, very difficult for them. Again, whatever this is, it's actually pushing them. It's actually forcing them, not even pushing them. It is forcing them to take some kind of an action here. And as they are in the process of this, they're still interested in what is going on with you, still feeling like, still just curious, curious whether, whether they can have this fulfillment with you or not um let's see that eight of cups all right so the king of cups and the high priestess i don't know what it is that they're moving away from definitely moving away from something here um, and they're doing this by following their heart following their emotions really listening to their intuition and what they know deep inside i do feel like it's it's very difficult for them i do feel like there's some deception that is happening um in their life in one way or another it could be that it was you know that they have been in some way deceiving their own selves um, when it comes to their feelings and what it is that they wanted. But this person is doing a lot of deep soul searching right now. There's a lot of love that this person has for you with that, with that King of Cups. They're feeling a lot of emotions. And I actually feel like, you know, um, As positive as their emotions are for you, their emotions though are all, are all over the place in general, overall. They're feeling very emotionally, um, uh, things are just chaotic for them. That's the best way I can put it. Things are just chaotic for them at the moment. They have the emotions for you, um, but at the same time, they're moving away from something here. Let's see the messages here for you. So, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords showing up again. So yeah, again, it feels like, you know, there is this potential. It's there. But something about it just isn't complete yet. Or I feel like it's still a little bit um, not 100% in truth at the moment. Something still needs to happen here if this is to work. All right, there is a, there is a potential. 
but I feel like, well, let me clarify the seven of swords. And this will give us, okay, four of cups. I feel like you, basically, you're not going to accept this offer. All right, because I do see this Ace of Pentacles being being an offer that is coming in that is going to be practical. It's going to be um, a little bit on the more 3D side. So it could be like a practical solution or it could be just um, wanting to, I'm just trying to think of an example, you know, meet up in the physical, but maybe if this, if this tower is not resolved, you know, the guidance for you is to not accept it. Like I said, you know, stand strong. Not taking an offer that is not going to be 100% in truth. And a little bit more progressed than this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is good, but when it's together with the Seven of Swords, um, I feel like it's, you know, there's still this energy of it could go this way, it could go that way, you know, it could just slip up at any moment because there's this tower. Alright, so for the Seven of Wands, we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, like I said, the potential is there. I do see that there is this possibility um, of having a reconnection with this person from the past. Obviously, it's up to you, okay? Always trust your own intuition. I'm not telling you to go either way, all right? If this person comes back, um, giving you this some kind of an offer that is going to be very practical, very earthy, um, it's like it needs to have it all. You know, the, the emotions have to be there strong and stable and I feel like if the emotions are not stable if this tower isn't resolved if whatever this five of swords is you know that um, deception or other people manipulation if that's not resolved then it's just it's going to slip away like again it's just going to go back to what it was and obviously you don't want that so the guidance for you is to just stand your ground with what it is that you believe in you know you've done so much healing so i think you, that that's pretty much what you would you would do anyway all right leo let's see And for some of you, this could just be even a precaution of not going back to a situation. You know, just overall, even if that offer is not there, just not allowing yourself to um, really fall back into, you know, whatever kind of trap might keep you stuck, okay, even within your own self. Again, it's always okay, you know, to make some mistakes. There's always going to be a little bit of um, bumps in the road or sometimes we can take, you know, half a step back. That's okay. But just take this as a... Um, just as a message, all right, if it feels right for you. All right, so we have the new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. So this is definitely um, here for you in August, regardless whether it is with this person from the past or whether it is with someone else, it's going to be a new cycle, a new way of actually um, experiencing love. So, Leo, that was your reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching and much love.